Hey Leo, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do your reading for the week and see what's going on. See what's happening for Leo this week. Give me, give me one good one. Give me a good satisfying. Yes. Okay. All right. We're taking them however they come out. So buckle up, buttercup. So six of wands, ace of wands reversed, and nine of pentacles reversed. I feel like you have this mojo that now you don't know where to go. Um, you might need to kind of take stock in what you have there's like a practical element potentially where before you move on to the next awesome thing and continue your awesomeness with the six of wands you need to kind of be like okay well what's the next thing and that's um, that's incredibly simple but um and the nine of pentacles you could potentially feel like you don't have the resources to move into the next phase like what's your point a you know because you can see down the road but like I don't I don't know where to start I don't know how to allocate what I have to make this work so I know it sounds like super practical and I'm here and begin at the beginning and it's like well no kidding no kidding thank you so much spirit <laughs> you're like I'm here for trite advice and the magician reverse though I feel like the magician's reversed just because the beginning parts haven't been put in place. The page of pentacles is saying start, but it's going to be slow. You could be waiting on communication from something or something does come along that allows you to start, but you're not at like full strength. Like you have to power up, you know, like a generator, like, um, you know, I'm hearing like when they turn on in sci-fi movies and things are powering up and it's like, boom, you know, I know that sounds so cheesy, but, um, you know, you're kind of waiting for that battery to get full before you can just like make it happen. So after that, seven of cups reversed. Yeah. There, there is no confusion once you get going, you are able to be like, here's what we're doing. Here's the options that are before me and we're going to pick the right cup and get moving. It's just a matter of, I feel like, you know, like I said, maybe you are waiting for somebody to kind of give you another piece of information or things are just kind of going slow. And in that slowness, find the time to regroup, take stock of what you have and kind of, um, not magician it, but see the possibilities. Like I could do this, I could do that. And the 10 of wands reversed is the ten of wands on the ace of wands reversed it's this feels like a lot like you have a lot to give like i said like you you're awesome to start with but the next phase might be a hiccup in how we get rolling here and i find it funny that the ace of wands is reversed while the ten of wands is upright so you have a beginning and an end well you need to end this ten of wands well like no kidding the fool reversed like I said, there's something that you are trying to start, but Knight of Cups, it is baby steps. And I think that might potentially bother you. It just might feel like a lot, like there's a lot of little steps that will add up into these giant leaps. And then you can just keep doing the, um, you know, hopscotch along. <laughs> Emperor reversed. If there's any kind of avoidance that you're finding yourself in, um, not even avoidance, but there's a need to kind of like not control everything. And Leo, like when you, you want stuff done, it, it gonna happen. And this Emperor Reversed is kind of like, and this Knight of Cups together, it's like you have to be kind of gentle with it even if you are feeling frustrated at the moment because stuff isn't moving the way you want it to because the six of wands eight of pentacles ace of cups reversed it's funny because with the eight of pentacles i always think of the mastery element like anything you touch you're like boom got it oh this i just picked this up yesterday I, you know I, I just started knitting yesterday and i have these four sweaters you're welcome 
Like, there's just something to it where, like, you're used to picking things up. And the Ace of Cups reversed is like, oh, okay. All right. Well, I guess we're not doing this. And then the Seven of Pentacles. There is kind of, like, a ramping down that you feel like you had this mojo. And now it's like, Ooh. so now you're powering back up again. Like that weird sci-fi analogy. <laughs> um you know, like they're trying to get the ship to go or whatever it is, like the spaceship. Because um, I want to see what this Seven of Cups reverse. Yeah, you just, I feel like if anything, you just don't want to be disappointed. Because if Leo is rocking the Midas touch, you don't want to touch something. And then you're like, that's not gold. I don't know what that was. Nine of Wands reversed. So the action could potentially be letting some boundaries down, communicating a little more, and kind of um, putting yourself out slowly. Like I said, baby steps. Not having to control, not slowing the gusto. You know, asking for help if you need it. Talking to people, and God forbid, um, getting their opinions. Because I know I'm not a fan where I'm like, shh. Sometimes I'm like, just keep it to yourself. Um, yeah, so it, and we're literally just talking about a week. So there could be kind of like a ramp down feel, but use that time to gear up, get it together, figure some stuff out, take stock of what you have, and then like, I feel like this is only a, a temporary pause. And next week or the week after, it's going to be like, you know, like, woo, fully powered. Fully charged. Let's go. So, we have got... Also, I will point this out. A theme across all the signs has been some kind of authenticity. Some kind of awareness. And I am kind of seeing that in this, where it's like, yes, you know you're awesome. But to level up, you might need to look at some stuff that you don't... You know... You, I'm not saying you've been coasting, but you have to look at the stuff that you don't pick up so easily. The stuff that isn't, that you don't just muscle through. Something along those lines. There's like a reevaluation, and it's just to like make you bigger, better, faster, stronger. It's not coming from a place of, of hindrance, if that makes sense. So if there's any kind of thing you feel like isn't authentic to you, Maybe start there, because it can feel like a lot when you're like, you want me to reevaluate everything? So where do you feel like, eh, it's not right? Start with those spots. Work backwards. So I pulled out the postcard deck. I don't usually use this because the corners are pointy, and they hurt my hands. So this wanted to be a little gossip, a little gossip gus. So actually, it wants to flip this way. So tell me... What we have, we have the Ten of Swords reversed. Somebody feels like, let me see what the other ones are. We got the Devil reversed and the Empress reversed. Someone can't get over themselves. So, let's see. The Star and Eight of Cups. I think... Like I said, this is gossipy, so it's a little petty, it's a little trashy. Um, somebody, like I said, can't get over themselves. Somebody, I get, with the devil reversed, empress reversed, I do get a feeling a little, and with the ten of swords reversed, there is kind of like a victim mentality. Um, someone's playing victim, like, I, you know, I did everything, I could have, you know, I was so, but it's not. I'm not saying it's not real. Like, it could be very real to them, but to everyone else, you're like, really? Are you sure about that? Um, but with the star and eight of cups, it feels a little dramatic. Like, whatever has to be kind of uh, walked away from or healed from, it's... And I'm getting more the healing thing. Because they're not addressing something. Because they're in this loop of, like, woe is me. Um, um, I just, I do everything for everyone with this Empress reversed, but no one, no one appreciates it. 
And it's like whatever healing that they have to have. I don't think this is hopes or whatever. Um, they just keep kind of like, like, no, I'm not going to deal with it. Also, with the star, they can act like they never get what they want. Like, I never get what I want, and I give everything. And it's like, do you give a headache? I'm not saying this person has to be around you. Like, this could just be a low-key key co-worker who, oh my gosh, I've had a couple of those where you're just like, shh, please, please be quiet. Um, let's see, Ten of Swords. What? Are, three of Swords. Like I said, there's just a play-in. It's like the world's tiniest violin for this person, potentially. Queen of Swords, Four of Pentacles, reversed Four of Wands. I think they act like they're... You ever meet someone that's like, I do so much. I do so much for everyone. And, and there's this kind of attitude to them where it's, it's not altruistic at all it's to like to bolster themselves up and not actually address any of their own gunk it's one of those situations like i'm annoyed even looking at it <laughs> so eight of cups so this could apply or completely not apply but with the death i feel like just don't put yourself around any of that kind of thing because you have your own stuff to deal with and it's not negative stuff, but, like, you don't want to get into any kind of loop or narrative that is this, like, crumb bummery. So, actually, after death, what can we say for Leo? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like, you've got your own stuff to worry about, so I would put distance on anyone who has this kind of mentality or attitude. Because I just, I feel like there's no pleasing them in some way. Because, like, they're breaking their own hearts like all the time so let's do the crystal deck and get some pep talk cosmic pep talk for leo one two and three that was good i like that one all right we have sugalite which is initiating cleansing and spontaneity. We have declutter your mind and environment from all that is unnecessary and negative. <clears throat> How can you invite openness and growth into your life? So remember, this whole thing has been about taking stock and who's around you and the whole kit and caboodle. So yes, it's also, I like this stone because there's also a protective element to it where it kind of like bubble wraps you while you're trying to do this stuff. So keep that in mind. And you know what? That's what I got for you, Leo, and I'll talk to you later.